Muy bien, y fantástico. Muy buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo están todos? How's everybody? Bien. Muy bien. ¿Están bien? Fantástico, fantástico. Aquí estamos. Eh, es, hoy, hoy es, today is, hoy es martes. Hoy es martes, today is Tuesday. So that means it's uh, Spanish step one day. And this class assumes you know nothing at all about Spanish, that you are just beginner, beginner. And I want you to make sure you're, you're not muted so that you can speak to me. I do want to tell people in case they've never used Zoom before, um, if you hover in the, the little bottom part of your screen, you'll see two things that are helpful. One is the participant button, which shows you all the names of everybody, and it shows you when you're on mute or if you're not. Also, this uh, that little bottom uh, menu will have a, a little a little icon that says chat, and it's good to turn on chat because chat will allow you to send me a message if you want to ask something but you don't want to talk. Uh, it will ask you to. Uh, it, it will allow you to send a message to everybody so that everybody can see it. Uh, or to click on the little everyone button. And then if you, uh, some people send a message just to me <laughs> if they're feeling shy and that is okay too. And if you hit, click on the everyone tab in the chat box, uh, you can ask it to send a message only to me if you so choose. But the chat button is very, very helpful. Uh, mainly because it allows you to ask a question without speaking if that is what you want to do. Okay, <clears throat> the only thing I do ask everybody to do is that if you have some furry friends who like to make noise uh, or, or don't like to make noise normally, but something happened in the house and they are, uh, do, do mute your, yourself if, if you've got background noise from, you know, life happens, that kind of thing. Uh, otherwise, I encourage you to leave, take yourself off of mute and uh, so that you can share, uh, ask information, you know, whenever you like. Um, okay, para que sepan, just a couple things that we're going to do kind of, not really ground rules, but things so that you know. Um, I do record these so that I post them on YouTube. If you are ever gone, you can't attend class because something happened. You can't be there at 930. You will always get a link in the afternoon on Tuesday that will give you what the <laughs> link to get into the, my, the YouTube recording of class. And you can watch what happened in class the whole time so that you never have to worry. Oh my gosh, you're missing class. What did they do? Well, okay, fine. And some people tell me they go back to Listen again, if there's like some little point they wanted, they, they missed or didn't quite understand, or, you know, they want to listen to it again. So for whatever reason, you can go in and listen to that. Um, after class, uh, and this will come sometime in the afternoon because it kind of varies what time it happens. I always send out a recap email. So it'll be an email that says, here's what we did. It will give you every link to every file we use during class so that, you know, some people like to take notes. Sometimes I don't want you taking notes during class. <laughs> sometimes I want you to be, when I sponge, I want you to be a sponge sometimes and just, you know, be in the moment and, and absorb what we're doing and really focus on what we're doing. Uh, so, Every file you see on a screen, when I share a screen, you will get the link in the email. The email, I will list every file I showed. I will list every video you saw. I will tell you what your homework is. I will give you the link to the YouTube so you can watch or rewatch the class. So you'll always get an email in the, uh, the afternoon of class day and uh, it will give you all that information. 
because for, for some things, uh, you know, sometimes it may be okay to take some notes during class. It may be convenient, but sometimes you really need to be kind of focused on each other or listening harder or just watching the screen and listening. And just know you don't have to take copious, copious notes. Some people find it helpful and like to do that. So, you know, uh, whatever you want to do is fine with that. Okay, muy bien. Uh, today is going to be a kind of intense, <laughs> intense day. Lots of things to do. There, are, there will be a lot of us doing everything together today, but I do want to do one session in what we will call breakout rooms. And breakout rooms means we won't all be on the screen. It means that you will go into like a little virtual room with one or two other people and you will practice something together just privately in a small group because a lot of people feel less inhibited and plus it gives you more chance to pipe up and practice with one or two people as opposed to nine of us uh, so when you go into a breakout room it's usually just for five minutes and then you come back and you tell me what went well, what didn't go well, what did I not get? Hey, I think I did this right, but gee, I'm not sure, so let me ask. So when I send you to a breakout room to do practice with you know one-on-one -on -one or, or with two or three other people, um, I want you to get a lot of practice with your partner or partners if there are two of you. Okay, uh, last couple of things. Resources, resources, resources. Okay, aquí tenemos el libro. Here we have the book. If, uh, Tomas, you are the only one, Tomas, you may not actually need this book, to be honest, because I will reference for you. Yeah, I will reference where you get the same thing we're working on in that. So you can okay. Because I, I don't think there's a real need. I mean, unless you are like, wow, I want to, I would say don't bother. The rest of you, you should. And if you need, if you need the link, to see what this looks like, then uh, uh, before you buy it, or or you haven't bought it yet, then uh, uh, send me a little message in the chat box. Let me know. I can send that information to you. I do want to show you right now um, because it comes with three audio discs. Who's got a CD player? <laughs> no, please. Oh, some of you do. God My bless computer. You. Oh, in your computer seat, mine does not even have a slot for a disc anymore. Okay, however, because the world is now streaming, because that's the way it is, uh, I'm gonna show you easily, kind of step-by-step, because step, this will only take me maybe three, two minutes. Um, and you can all see this little screen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, see. This little screen says, www.livinglanguage.com. Wow, they make it easy to remember. Okay, mm -hmm. so you log on to that and you say, I don't need no stinking CD. So you go to the top right hand portion where it says support. Mm -hmm. And support asks, How may I help you? <laughs> Como le puedo ayudar? Uh, mm -hmm. And we scroll down to downloads. Support gets you to the downloads page. We hit downloads. And then, oh, como por magia, like for magic. Oh, it wants you to select the language. Well, that's pretty darn easy. Although we have to scroll all the way down because it's alphabetical, Spanish. And then you got one, two, three, uno, dos, tres, one, wow. two, three, you got three. And these correspond to the three discs. So you just download those and do them one at a time if you want, do all three, no importa, doesn't matter. But that will get you to the exact same audio files and they're the exact same snippets. So it will be exactly as if you had the CD file. If you want to use the CD, fantastico, great, it doesn't matter. Uh, but para que sepan, just so you know, the other little resource I would like you to know, actually there are two more, oh, I lied. Other one is, um, I would like everybody to try out for free, do not pay for, I don't know, what is this now? Is it 14 bucks a month? Is it less than that? 
Hmm, no sé, I do yeah. not know. However, Duolingo, Duolingo. Uh, and I would say, I would do the online version of, it will desperately want you to do the app. It will desperately beg you to download the app. I would say don't bother. I would say don't bother uh, for reasons I am not going to get into. Uh, they do have an app, however, if you like an app. And if you like an app because you want to put it on your phone and you want to fiddle with it because you're sitting somewhere that, you know, waiting at the doctor's office, whatever. Okay, fine. But uh, this is very, very great because uh, you tell it what language. It gives you little flags here. Uh, oh, I don't have my German loaded on here. Okay. And um, you kind of march through basic stuff. Now, the thing that Duolingo is very, very good for is that if you can, first of all, you can spend any amount of time <coughs> you feel like on it. You got five minutes, good. You wanna do 15, great. You wanna do 20, wow, okay, great. You do whatever amount of time you want. They're little snippet lessons. Um, and it is very, very good for building vocabulary quickly. So the strength of this is building vocabulary quickly. It will use visuals. It is very good for building some listening comprehension with very short things. Uh, it has voice recognition. It will rate your pronunciation. It's so-so with that, I'll be honest. It's getting better, but it's not fabulous. Uh, with rating your, your voice, but it, it's getting better. But it will build a lot of vocabulary. The thing it is not very good with, with is that a lot of times people will see words combined in a certain way, or they will, uh, and they'll be like, I, I wanna know why that is what it is. You know, if it strings together a short phrase or a sentence and you say, I wanna know why that is. Or maybe you took some French and you go, oh, this looks like something, but I, I wanna, it's not very, it's not great at explaining all that. Uh, one other little feature it does have is that it has uh, the learn thing will give you the little lessons. When you get a bit further and you can listen to a story, it also has little stories and little podcasts and things like that. So for listening comprehension, building uh, vocabulary, Duolingo is very, very good. If you load the app, it will annoy you with messages. So I wouldn't, yeah, yeah it does. Uh, that becomes annoying. Okay, uh, the very last thing I wanna show you as an excellent resource is, let's say you, um, do people use dictionaries anymore? They do online. Wordreference.com is an excellent, excellent, really excellent dictionary. Really excellent dictionary, online dictionary, Spanish, English, well, it does gazillion languages. Um, and, um, oh, for example, I had a word I was looking up recently, <clears throat> sota. I should have known this word, but I was watching a video about, I don't know, funny sayings and, um, they used a word it was like and i saw it and i thought well it must mean this oh it's the jack of uh in like in cards but i'll pick a a more relevant term uh let's say you want to look up uh, you want to look up an english word and translate it into spanish uh ba, 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 ba. i have to tell I one yeah. Oh, you got one. No, no. I was telling you it was oh. a second space. Okay. Um, the nice thing about this as a dictionary is that you can. Oh, uh, oops. We don't want that. Inglés español. Uh, we don't want the equal sound, but it will give you. Um, translations and it'll give you different words it'll give you in context how that word is used okay sometimes a word may be used in a bunch of different ways so how the word is used in context mm -hmm. will help you choose oh you know out of all, look at all these words it gives us 
which one makes sense? Am I using it as a noun? Is I'm using it as a verb? It gives you contextual examples, which is sometimes really necessary. Okay. So, basically, mm -hmm. okay, so that's all you need right now for references. Bien? So, super, mm -hmm. super good. You want to look up a word, you can do that. Um, anybody have any questions on how to find info? No? Okay. Vale, magnifico. ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy? What are we going to do today? Um, today we're going to work on some really, really basic things. We're going to work on greetings, how to say hi, how are you? I'm going to give you some videos to uh, mainly watch later outside of class. Uh, make sure this week that you have read chapter one. And if you can, even chapter two. There is a lot of white space, negative space in this book. So you know, oh my God, two chapters. It's not that bad. Um, the audio will basically, anything you see in blue, they'll have an audio button and they will tell you in the book, you know, where, where which file in the audio you can use to listen to things in each chapter. But usually the blue, Things are all vocabulary oriented uh, and it will it will like march right through when you get a, like a table that has things on greetings that that uh, audio file which is CD one track four it will read that whole thing in the table to you so you can hear how it should sound okay so do use the audio with the book because it really makes that connection. When you are reading and listening to it at the same time, you are using two senses to pick this up. And, and most of us need more than one sense to uh, um, help imprint that on our brains, okay? The, the hardest thing with a foreign language, any foreign language, is that whatever your first language is, and for many of you, it will be English, what you learned from the time you were 18 months on is so firmly imprinted in your brain, your brain does not want to let go of that. It will fight you tooth and nail. So, example, because this will relate to pronunciation. English has bizarre, bizarre things in terms of spelling. And we have that thing called a silent E in English. When an E is hanging off the end of the word, it's a silent letter quite often. And, and people read stuff in Spanish as if they were reading English and, and, and they leave off that last E. You can't do that in Spanish, but your brain does not wanna let go of this rule that you learned as a little kid, okay? So kind of be prepared for that. Um, okay. Today, we're going to dive in right away into uh, greetings Marilyn. and pronunciation. Sí, pregunta. Sí, sí. Um, even English is a second language for me. So what helped was watching some um, TV shows in English. Exacto. So is there any uh, Spanish um, a uh, show that you would recommend that we can? Uh, there are some. I will. Uh, ooh, actually, there are two. And there's one I have not looked at in a while. Let me put that in the email for you. One is called Destinos. But it gets, it accelerates kind of fast. The other one is a little bit slower. And I can't think of the title of it offhand. So I will look that up. I will make sure I put that. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Would I say Usha for your name? Yes. Okay, okay, vale, gracias, gracias, Usha. Um, I will put that in the email at the end because I, uh, there are a couple of places I'm thinking of. So yeah, and that helps a lot. And for a lot of you, uh, sometimes even little kids shows like Sesame Street can be really helpful, stuff like that, because it's starting from, you know, ground level, right? Uh, and, and listening is a super important thing to do. Okay, um, we're going to start with 
pronunciation and greetings today, pronunciation and greetings. And chapter one in this book does a lot with uh, introductions and, and, and uh, how to greet people, how to say hello. I'm gonna send you some extra videos on that that you will watch as part of homework. Um, but I wanna do some things with pronunciation first because unlike English, which has tons of strange, weird rules, just random stuff uh, that changes with pronunciation. English, English is just a mongrel. It is a mongrel language. It has borrowed from so many languages. It is a mongrel language. It mm -hmm. steals from almost everybody. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it has very strange rules. You don't know which syllable in a word gets more. You just have to know. Uh, spelling is weird. All kinds of letters are silent. Mm -hmm. English is weird and tough. Um, Spanish is very straightforward. It is extremely phonetic. Mm -hmm. It obeys phonetic rules almost to a point of obsession. <laughs> uh, so the good thing will be, uh, we're going to do kind of like quite a bit with vowels today. Okay. Uh, unlike English, in Spanish, if you know the sounds that the letters make, when you read along in the book, you can say things. Because you're not guessing, does this A sound like A, 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 A? You look at that A and it's A. Ah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it, baby. Nothing else. So it's very phonetic. What you see is what you hear and read. And that's it. Okay. Most letters, not all, but the majority of the letters of the alphabet have one sound. And where mm -hmm. that does not happen, I will tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it is extremely, extremely phonetic. So we're gonna start with some vowels first. And I will tell you that uh, the Spanish alphabet is mostly like the English alphabet. There are a few letters that are different, but the vowel sounds, if you get the vowel sounds right, they are extremely important. Pronunciation of the vowels is extremely important because if you change from one sound to a different vowel sound, it may change the whole word meaning. So we want to really strike. If you can get the vowels correct in Spanish, you are 60, 70% good to go. And people will understand you. If you mess up the vowels, you may risk being misunderstood, okay? But the good news is these are easy to say. So I'm gonna send you a long video, which you will watch outside of class. It will look like, ooh, donde esta? Donde esta? It will look like this. This is what you're gonna watch for homework, but we're gonna do the vowel part. She's gonna go through everything in the whole alphabet for you the whole thing. And there is a pronunciation guide in the back, back chapters, like after all the big chapters, there is a pronunciation guide in the book, okay? Uh, the pronunciation guide starts on page 166. But, and, um, uh, and it is helpful but it really, really helps to hear this, okay, to hear this. So mm -hmm. this lady that you see on the screen, who is super Holly, uh, she is gonna go through everything in the whole alphabet. Today, we are only gonna do vowels that we have time to do greetings as well, okay? So you will listen to that later. Uh, what we are going to do together right now, and I want you to check out the screen. You can all see this, right? See? Yeah, see. Okay. We're going to do our vowels. Okay. Uh, son importantes. And, and later on, when you go into breakout rooms, you're going to do, uh, you're going to do a little practice of breakout room with this in about three minutes. 
And you will magically see on your screen the same thing again when you go into the little breakout room. And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna be ticked off. Okay, <laughs> I think it will. We're gonna look at vowels. And this, and by the way, you're gonna get this whole file in the email. So don't furiously, I mean, if, if it helps you to copy grade. Ah, uh, that's the name of the letter. Ah, uh, it's not uh. called A, it's called ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh. And ah uh. uh makes only that sound, ah, uh. ah. Uh. 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 The vowels start from your throat uh. and they will march up your palate and out your lips. Here are the vowels, a, e, i, o, u. That's it. Uh, yeah. That's all she said, baby. There we go. A always makes that sound. It's never a, it's never a, it's never a, it's never that schwa thing. It's none of that. It's a, and it's only that. Always, no exceptions. Ah. So you're going to practice these one on one with a partner in a couple minutes, but I'm going to go down this whole list and you will see this list when you go on the breakout room. And, and I tell you what each little word means because people always ask. It doesn't matter that you know, it matters that you practice how to make the sound. Okay, so uh, we're going to take very short words and I want you to focus on not a or a, just a. Uh, uh, uh. This is how they will sound. And you can say it after me if you like, but the crucial thing is you're going to repeat these with a partner in a couple minutes, okay? So here are the words. I'm going to model that, meaning I will show you how it should sound first. And then you're going to do only the ah uh sounds when you go into the breakout room, nothing else. We're going to focus on one thing, okay? So here are the words, and I'm starting all, all the, from the top down on the far left side. Gamma. Gamma. Mm -hmm. Drama. 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 Planta. Planta. Abra. Abra. Mapa. Mapa. Gafas. Gafas. Placa. Placa. Patata. Patata. Santa. Santa. Blanca. Blanca. Calma. Calma. Casa. Casa. Banda. Banda. Okay, so now here's the pitfall you want to avoid. You want to avoid, you will want to avoid like the plague, letting that English brain see things like planta. Uh, uh, drama, ooh, that one, uh, uh, banda, banda. And uh, no, <laughs> but see your English brain is going to fight you and you will find this and other things more so than on this uh, list. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to stop the share, but you're going to see it come back. You're going to see that same page come back. I am going to set you up in rooms, little breakout rooms. Uh, somos diez? Uh, one of you is probably going to get a group of three. I want you to just like, if you take one word, your partner takes the next word. And I want you to just say each word one time. Okay. So if I take comma, my partner will take the next word, drama. And then I take the third word, planta. And then my partner takes the fourth word, abra. Got the idea? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And just march down the little ah list. Don't do anything but ah. I'm only going to give you a couple minutes to do this because it shouldn't take long to get through this. Okay. But you will, you will see your partner and you will see this screen. And I want you to take turns, just decide who's going to start. Okay. Between you and your partner. <laughs> and, um, and then we'll come back and see if you had any issues, questions, anything like that. And then we're going to go on to the next sound. Does that make sense to you? Sí. Sí. Ok. Fantástico. Um, a ver, a ver, a ver. Uh, I'm going to see if this works here. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Ooh, let's take that off. Let's try one more time. Una vez más. I'm going to add one more room. Oh, let me add a room. Here we go. Uh, <coughs> Oops. Make 
one little adjustment. Okay. And I've got one group with three, but uh, most people have two. Okay. I'm going to add open rooms. When, when I hit the open room button, you're going to have to hit a little button. You're going to see a join button. You will have to hit the join button. And after you hit the join button, I'm going to send that page with the ah words out to you. Okay. And I'm going to give you only maybe ooh, three minutes to work it. I think that's all you're going to need. Okay. You should see a join button. So we never got our words. You didn't get your words. Oh. This is Susan. I didn't either. I never got the list. I okay. wonder if it was underneath or something. Well, there is a good question. Okay. Now I see it. the list, but I now didn't you, see it. When now I you see, okay. Uh, ooh, big fail. Okay, I'll talk to the Zoom people. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Let's take a tour around. Okay, we won't we won't do that separately here. I've got to figure out why that didn't work. Um, perdón, I, excuse me. Marilyn, Let's try. I, yeah. I do want to say Tamara saw the list, but I was her partner, Susanna, and I did not see it. Oh. Hmm. Did, who, did anyone okay. else see the list? In no. three, none of us saw the list. None of you saw the list. Okay. We saw so, the list. You saw the list. Yes. Okay, 
I don't know why that is uh, fluking. So we're not going to do the other breakout room, but that's okay. We'll adjust. Uh, okay, so let's take a turn. Let's take a turn. I'm just going to call some people. Wow. Yeah. Uh, because of the way I see you on the screen, I can't say we're going to go clockwise because that won't help. Uh, I'm going to ask people to start with the word gamma. And um, Hillary, would you start with gamma? Gamma. Bien. Oh, and, and you'll have to take yourselves off of mute. Gamma. Yeah. Gamma. Gracias. Okay. And and when when eventually we get this to work, uh, <laughs> to the share screen, uh, a different day, um, typically you help coach each other. So if you hear somebody say gamma, you say, ooh, hang on a minute. I think you need to redo that word. Okay, but Kama was exactly right. Muy bien. Pam, how about the next one? Lama. Drama, perfecto. Judy. Planta. Planta, bien. Tomás. Abriva. Abria. Uh, abra. 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 Okay. Think abracadabra, but don't say it as abracadabra. <laughs> abra. <laughs> abra. 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 Abra, okay. Uh, abra, bien, okay. Uh, is it Tamara or Tamara? Tamara. Tamara. Is it gaf, gafas? Uh, oh, you want the one below Abra. Oh, uh, the one below Abra or oh, Mapa? Mapa, bien, Mapa, excelente. Usha. Uh, gafas. Gafas, perfecto, muy bien. The next one, uh, Margaret. Laca. Flaca, excelente. Sí. Uh, next one there, Susana. Patata. Patata, bien, patata. Next one down. Uh, is it Delia or Delia? Delia. Oh, and you need to be off mute, my dear. Or it's Carmen. Oh, and, and you're, on, you're still on mute. Oh, okay. now we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, I go by Delia. My you middle do go name. by Delia. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. There we go. Okay. Delia. Uh, Santa. Santa. Perfecto. Okay. We're going to back to the top of the list. Hillary. Blanca. Blanca. Bien. Next one. Pam. Calma. Cal Cal calma. Calma. Perfecto. Calma. Next one down here. See, Judy. Casa. Y Tomas. Banda. Banda, perfecto. I did not hear banda. Yay, Tomas. Ole, Tomas. Ole. Magnifico. Okay. We're going to, uh, so always ah, uh, always ah, uh, never something else, never an ah. Uh. The ah uh is really bad. Ah uh will confuse people. They don't know what you're saying. There is no ah uh sound. <laughs> there literally is no ah uh sound. And uh, A will sound like something else. Uh-oh, A, A will sound almost like this next one. The letter E is, is the letter E, and I will make this bigger now because <laughs> I don't need to make it fit a screen. Uh, the name of this letter in English is E, but in Spanish it is called A. A, not A, but A. 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 English has lots of silent E's and English has lots of sounds for this letter. Spanish has only one sound, E, and that is the only sound this letter will ever make and it always makes a sound. No exceptions, always E, E, E. It's kind of between a short E and a long A sound, E, E, E. But vowels in Spanish tend to be shorter than English. English tends to drag out vowels, a, yeah, a, a. So we go from a, very open, down here, a, mm -hmm. to a. Uh, now a. you can feel it's moving up. A, uh, interesting, a. is the, the resting position sound. You know, when you're talking to somebody and you're searching for the right word and your brain does a and you're pausing to think and you say, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the sound they make in Spanish when they're pausing to think. Eh, eh. Or like Canadians? Eh, mm, just, just pausing eh. to think. Eh? You're, you're thinking, what do I want? Oh, you're ordering at a, uh, you're ordering something at a fast food. You're going, eh, eh, 
Yeah. It's the sound people make when they're thinking kind of aloud and they're pausing. Eh. But that letter always sounds like eh, 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 mm -hmm. eh. And it's back here, back here. It's not ah down here. It's eh. Okay. So eh. we're going to try these sounds. And we're going to look at the word that is underneath the explanation for eh, which is the word for hair. Pelo. Repitan. Pelo. 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 Bien. Cable. Cable. You can't say cable. <laughs> we do pronounce the E, cable. It means the same thing. Cable. 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 Perfecto. The next word is going to be centro. 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 Muy bien. Centro. centro. The next word has a few translations. Uh, este. 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 Es, and eh. it always has that eh sound, always. Eh. Our next practice word eh. is breve. 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 You are going to notice the B, it's called B chica, sounds like a B. Yes. B will now sound like V. That letter V doesn't mm. use its, your teeth down here. It is B, B. Be. Be. Your, be. your lips just be. go together. Breve. 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 Everybody breve. try breve one more time. Breve. 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 Bien. The next one is, oh, and it's got another B, so it's going to sound like a B, 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 okay? Uh, the next is word for green. Verde. 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 Green. We have verdant pastures. Okay. Yeah. Verdant in English comes from verde, same thing in this verde. Latin. Okay, vende. 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 We have vende. vending machines that sell you something, and that vending yeah. comes from this old vende. word in Latin. Vende. 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 Okay. That E at the end does not make the other E have a different sound. Vende. They both are e. Vende. E. Verde and bende. We're going to look below bende. We got a double E. This does not happen yeah. very often, but E is a letter that sometimes can be doubled, but it will not be leer. In English, you would say leer, mm -hmm. right? We don't do that. Yes. We're going to take the E and we're going to kind of repeat it, E. But here's what we're going to do. We're just going to make the E sound and drag it out. Two yep. A's together are A, A. So it's going to sound like this. Leer. 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 Leer, leer. leer. leer means leer. we express leer. that idea of leer as two <coughs> In English, we need two words to say that idea. Leer. Leer. In Spanish, you have leer. one word to express that idea. Leer. Leer, leer is what they call an infinitive. That means yeah. it's the base form of a verb. Okay, the next one also has a double E. And this is a word that we used to say, hmm, I think this is a great idea, or I think this is a stupid idea. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got the next word, which is creer. 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 If you give credence creer. to something, you believe creer. it. And creer. we have a word, <clears throat> creed, credo, yeah credible something is believable all, right, well, uh, all, yeah. all the high level english words came to us through french through latin and you will see lots of links to old latin words where we have a high level english word in spanish it will come in as the base word creer creer yeah, creer. Creer. yeah. okay creer. next we've got the word for copper now we're going to have an o and an E sound together. Cobre. 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 Next, we've got the word for jungle. Selva. 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 Okay. And Selva. now we've got a little, we're bringing, we're bringing in that old idea of the A ah back in, right? We're doing an E and an A ah sound. Selva. 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 Okay. Next word is a sale. Venta. 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 And the next one is a shorty word. Last one is a shorty word. 
like instead of television, we say TV. This means TV. Tele. 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 Okay. Bien. E, 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 e. Bien. Okay. Tele. Can I just ask Wait. a question? Sí, sí, sí. The, the V is usually sounds like a B like boy. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. Here's a little short explanation. We'll do this a different day. And you're going to hear this in the Super Holly video, by the way. B, B, B and V sound the same. Okay. B. Only differences. Sometimes it will be slightly stronger. I'll give you an example. Like, verde. Verde. They was, yeah, but yeah, B okay. and the B will sound like a B. There is no sound like a V, V, where you put your teeth on your lower lip. That doesn't mm -hmm. exist in Spanish. They'll, both will sound like a B. Yeah, okay. Words with B and V are words mm -hmm. that little Mexican kids yeah. get wrong on their spelling test in third grade. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they sound the same. Really? Yes. Right? Yeah. They sound the same. Okay. So yes, the the B chica will sound like a B, and the B also sounds like a B. Sometimes it is very very soft, uh, like uh, ooh, like uh, tubo tubo tubo. Sometimes it's very soft. Sometimes it's a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. like verde verde. It's a little bit stronger. But here's one difference I want to tell you, and Susana, this is a good question. B, what I want you to strive for, but it's not essential to be understood, okay? But what, what you want to strive for with the Bs is you don't want a puff of air. Our B in English is, if you put your hand up here, if you yeah. say, big brave boy, big brave boy, you're gonna big, feel big breath, boy. big brave boy, oh. big brave boy. Oh, you should not feel that puff of air. When you pronounce the B in Spanish. Ah, ah. So when you Bebe. practice verde, 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 Bebe. Bebe. if well, you don't feel a puff of air, and, uh, that's a good right. advice. Yeah. But when you're pronouncing the B like boy, you do have. Sure, boy. Oh, okay. Boy. That is called an explosive. Linguists call that an explosive B. And Spanish does not have an explosive B. It's a, a softer, much softer B. There is no air yeah, produced. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's your little. Wait, I'm confused. Like when you say Blanca, do you want explosion yeah. or Blanca? No, you really oh. don't. Yeah. Okay. Blanca. However, Blanca. Now, I, I'm going to tell explosion. you something. If if somebody Blanca. if somebody from Jalisco, you go to to Jalisco, you go to Oaxaca. And, and you are traveling and you pronounce something, you're describing something that is white and you say Blanca, Blanca, and you say it like anglicized, Blanca, with a really hard B. Will they understand you? You have an yeah. accent. Surprise, you have an accent. And by the way, everybody has an accent. Even people who speak Spanish have an accent, <laughs> mm -hmm. depending on where they live, yeah? so. I, speaking English, have an accent. I am very Midwest. I am very flat vowel. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Any other questions on the A, 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 or those Bs? And you'll see B again another day. No? Nada? No. Okay. Okay. Let's look at E, E, E. This letter we call I in English. We call it I in English. It will always sound like this. It will sound e. like E, E, E. 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 But notice, we won't drag it out. We won't say e. e. I have a sheet of paper. It'll be e, short, e, e, e. 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 So notice we went from e. a to e. a, higher e. on the palate, a to e. E. e, e, e. It's kind of up there, e, e. Okay, it will always sound like e. There are no exceptions to this vowel. It will always sound like e, e. Okay, so we're gonna practice with the far right Libre. column that you see. Libre. 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 
Deep not brain. free as in cost, but free. I'm free. I can go wherever I want. That kind of thing. Okay. Libre. Next word is the word for gray. Gris. 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 The next is the word for yes. See. Si. See. Si. 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 Me. The next me. is when I want to say something belongs me. to me. 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 Okay. Pinta. Uh, Pinta. The next is pinta. Pinta. Paint. Paint, yeah. Paint. Uh, paints, it should say paint. Pinta. Oh, Pinta. paints as a verb, it is paints. The next one Pinta. is private. Oh, oh, we're going to combine some different vowel sounds. Uh, not private, private but privado. 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 And that, that particular D will sound more like a, uh, it'll be soft. It'll be mushy D. It won't be a privado. 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 Okay. Privado. Privado. If you pronounce this as privado and you do a hard D, you'll still be understood. <laughs> you will just sound like you have a bit of an accent, right? Privado. Okay. Privado. But the vowels are more important to get right. Okay. Privado. Next one is, is a month. Abril. 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 And we punched the last part of that. Abril. Abril. Okay. Okay, here's our next word. And this means nice, as in somebody who is pleasant, easy to get along with, just a great human being. Simpatico. 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 When you see an accent mark on a word like simpatico has, simpatico, that little accent mark does not change the way the ah of simpatico. It does not change that pronunciation. It just tells you, Punch that syllable harder mm. where you see the accent mark. That's oh, all that's... the accent mark means. Punch it harder. Simpatico. Right. Simpatico. So not simpatico, not simpatico, but simpatico. 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 Okay. The next is a little, it's a double word. It's a compound thing i don't know it's hyphenated it's what people say when they clink glasses when they toast when they say cheers they might say salud but they might say it. chin 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 okay. next is a measurement of weight kilo kilo kilo, kilo. Uh, kilo. When, you, when you get meats in particular, at a carniceria, at a, a butcher stand, they'll ask you how many kilos you want, right? You know, maybe medio kilo, a half of, yeah. Uh, next is the word for flu, when we feel gripe. ill. Gripe. 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 Okay. And the next is a word that means two different things, depending on the context and the verb you use with it. It is, oh, it does not mean list. It means Listo. ready or a person okay. who is clever. Listo. 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 Okay. Listo. Listo. Perfecto. And the last is the word for a view. Vista. 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 We have many Vista. streets and buildings and complexes that use this as a part of their names here in the Southwest. Vista, vista, and we have vista. Work. Yeah, vista. Okay. Vista. So the whole list, I'll say them one time. Libre, libre, gris, gris, si, si, si. Me. Me. me, me, pinta, 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 privado, privado, abril, 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 simpático, kilo, kilo. Gripe, listo, 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 We've got a, e, e, two more, dos mes, two more for today. The two more are o and u, and we might do the e, we might do our y, because we have that sometimes y thing in English, don't we? And mm -hmm. y is not too hard. Okay, we're going to take a look here. O is always o. It's never like 
hot, hot, mop. It's never that. Okay. It's oh, oh, a, e, oh. Oh, we're coming out to the mouth part here. A, e, oh, e, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so. Let's go. We've got two columns of words here. I'm going to start on the left column. Burr. Burr. Okay. Burr. And then, Cap, you wear like in the winter. Burr. 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 Globo. Globo. Globo does mean globe, but it often means balloon. The word for two costs, like something costs, you know, a certain amount of money. Costar. 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 Okay, so now I want you to really focus because we say cost, ah, 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 cost. Your English brain will want to say cost star. No, 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 no. Go star. Really force your oh, force your oh, your lips should go like that. Oh. Sometimes it helps to do just the, the vowel in isolation. Look at yourself in a mirror. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you're saying cost ah 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 star, it's off. Oh, oh, oh. Your lips should look like that. Costar. Costar. The next is something that is short in length, like short pants or short skirt. Corto. 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 Don't worry if you Corto. can't roll an out yet. Corto. 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 Next is our word for wolf, and a lot of us hear this word here and there. Uh, lobo. 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 The next is a word for the sun. Sol. 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 The next is something that does not mean little as in small. Oh. This means a little bit. A small amount. Poco. 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 Okay. We're going to look at our next column. Fondo. 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 Fondo means the bottom, like of a jar. It also, el fondo means the background. Okay. Uh, means those two things. We're going to look at our little shorty word over to the left or to the right of fondo. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Here's our no. negation no. word. No. No. no, no, no. Okay. Now we're going to take our, uh, our last bit of the o oh words. Gordo. 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 Uh, Gordo. Next is a question word. Donde. 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 Next Donde. is the word for gold. Gold, the element gold. Oro. 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 Norte. Next is a direction word. Norte. 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 Okay. Next. Tanto. Oh, this is like, yeah, tonto. it's not tanto. tanto. It's. Tanto. 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 Tanto means something else. Tanto is T A N T O. Tanto means so much. Yeah. It indicates an amount, like quite a bit. Uh, uh, but this is a word that means foolish or silly. Tanto. Uh, and last, and we say pronto, but that is not right in Spanish. It is oh, oh, pronto. 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 Okay. Pronto. We're going to look at our last vowel. Ooh. Our last vowel is u. Oh, oh, the other. All the other vowels have only one sound. Ooh, only has that sound also. Ooh, this is not you, it's ooh. 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 This is the one that English speakers very, very often mispronounce because our English brain often ooh. wants to say you, you, and we can't say you, it is ooh. Zoo. ooh. So look how these Azul. vowels march through. Ooh. Ah, ooh. a, e, 
And your lips literally should do that. Yeah. So here's where it's actually coming right out of your lips. I will tell you once in a while, and you won't see this yet today, once in a while, you goes silent. Not often, but sometimes. And I will tell you in a later lesson when that happens. When you go silent, it means it is... It is there to do a certain job to make another letter change its sound, okay? But very seldom does it do that. So you are going to treat all these words by the absolute rule of who makes the sound ooh, and that is it, ooh, okay? So we're gonna start with these words, okay? Repitan por favor, azul. 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 Azul, okay? The next is a peak, like of a mountain. Cumbre. 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 Next is the word they use in most of Latin America to talk about the thing you write with that has ink in it. Pluma. 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 Uh, the next one is a word you are going to hear in the video for it's part of the greeting vocabulary. Gusto. 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 Gusto means Gusto. pleasure. When you combine it with the word mucho, mucho gusto, mucho it gusto. is a retort when somebody says, I'm glad to meet you. Wow, mucho I'm gusto. delighted to meet you. Gusto. Mucho gusto. Mucho okay. gusto. So gusto mm. is often combined with the word mucho. Mucho gusto. Okay. Next, we got a word for flute. It's also, uh, ooh, on a Mexican menu, it is a tightly <laughs> rolled little tortilla. Yum. Yeah, you know what that one is because you've ordered that one before. I can tell from some of you. Okay, <laughs> but now look at what's going to happen. I've got two vowels next to each other. Uh-oh, what yeah. happens with that? What happens with that is that you pronounce each vowel, Yeah. but you slide them together as much as possible. So I'm going to show you what happens with the Ooh, in this instance, if you've got an ah and an oo, and I'm not going to take the whole word, I'm going to just take those two sounds isolated. Ah, oo, ah, oo. Here's what's going to happen. Ow, 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 It sounds like ow. Ow, flauta. Okay, so here's the word one more time. Flauta. 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 Okay. Flauta. Um, okay. Now we go back to just. And the food is pronounced the same way. Is that correct? Is the food flauta? Yes. Si, si, si. Flauta. Si, si. Flauta. Una flauta. Si. Yeah. Yeah. Que maravilla. Okay. Next, we've got the word for the moon. Luna. 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 Most people remember Luna. Luna. Next, Luna. we have a directional word again. Sur. 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 Next, Sur. next, we've got the word for a little animal. Un animal. Burro. 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 Okay. Now we have a word meaning covers. Cubre. 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 Okay, so notice it should not be cubre, right? Your English word may look at that and think cube or cub. No, it's cubre. 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 Okay, next, here is one that your English man really is going to work hard on. You want to say puro. Uh-uh, no. It is pu 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 Puro. 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 Okay. Next, we have sutil. 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 And now, just so we, we had flauta, au, we have a Western. u combining with something Western. else. So we're going to pronounce both of those vowels, but we're going to slide them together. Western. And it will sound like this. I'm just looking at the vowels, the two vowels together, not the word yet, okay? U, e, u. Hey, it will sound like this. 
Cuesta is what happens when you conjugate. That means you actually use in a sentence this verb costar. Costar, when you actually use it to say it costs, this thing, one of them, costs, it becomes this cuesta. form. Cuesta. 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 Okay. cuesta. cuesta. Yeah. Cuánto cuesta? How much does it cost? Cuánto okay. cuesta? Okay. Next, cuesta. we got the word for cloud. Nube. 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 Next, we have the word for when. Cuando. 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 U and A. Cuando. 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 Perfecto. Okay. I'm going to do a little shorty on Y. Y. A E I O U and sometimes Y. <laughs> well, okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna the reason we're gonna do this is that Y does get two different sounds. And which sound you use for the letter Y depends on where Y is in the word it appears in. Okay. If if Y is the very last letter of the word, is hanging right off the end of the word, it will sound, it will sound exactly like this sound e Oop. like this e. sound e e it will sound like that e it will have the same sound it will just be spelled with this letter instead okay so if it's the very last letter of the word it will sound like e like the i with the dot on top of it so we're going to take a long look at these this little short list Oy. of words uh, and by the way, don't pronounce them at the H. Ignore the H. Mm -hmm. H is the only truly silent letter. Okay. So when you see an H by uh, itself, a. ignore it. Uh, Here's e. the first word. I. 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 And I. 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 I is a very special word. And when you get this, and if you print it out, Put a star by it and take a highlighter and highlight it. I is a super useful word because it is a verb. And it means there is, or it can also mean there are. So it talks about things that exist, things that are, and when you want to know if a certain kind of store is around in the area, you use this word, I. Okay. Hay I. una farmacia. Is there a pharmacy? Hay una farmacia. Hay una farmacia. You use the word I, is there, is there a pharmacy? Okay, so I, muy importante, really important word, I, I. The next word we're gonna I. pronounce the Y like an E again, but now instead of I, it is oi. 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 Here is another word that ends in the letter oi. Y, and it is oi. muy. 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 We pronounce Muy. the U and the E together. Muy. 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 You Muy. hear a lot. I and muy you hear a lot because very is a frequently used word. Muy. Muy, Muy importante. Muy. Very important. Muy, Muy. importante. Muy importante, okay, muy. And the last one has a Y at the end and it's just a funny word, fui. 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 This is something that fui. you eat in Peru. Fui. In Peru, this is a delicacy, fui. Fui. <laughs> really? It is. I've eaten it. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, fui. Chicken? No? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. it's mild. Okay. It's mild. Everything tastes like chicken, right? Okay. All right. When does E, and this letter, by the way, uh, has E griega. Some people call it Y, but e griega. Griega. if you don't have E at the end of the, as the last letter, if it is somewhere in the middle or it's the first letter, if it's anywhere else, if it's not the 
the last letter of last. the word. It will sound like the English Y. Easy, Mayo. facile, right? Yeah. Okay, so Mayo. 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 Playa. Mayo. Playa. 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 Maya. 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 And last one is the word for yesterday. Ayer. 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 Okay. So I want you to practice those vowels. Um, I may actually give you a little link over the week to practice, like if you wish, if you wish, uh, recording yourself saying vowels. Ayer. So I can hear you later. Just just me listening to you and nobody else listening to you. Uh, I'll probably give you a link to go do that. So there are vowels. The vowels are super important. You wanna always make sure they are clear and they are just gonna make that one sound that we practiced, okay? We'll do more of these sounds later, but not today. Uh, we're gonna move from uh, pronunciation into greetings. Greetings. You will also get for homework this video with these two people. It is going to be a very long video, 12 minutes. Um, sometimes, uh, and by the way, for those of you who do not know, I have this turned on now so that you can see it. When you listen to a YouTube, if you want uh, a transcript, uh, subtitles, hit the CC, which means closed caption. Okay. Uh, <coughs> They will put a lot of subtitles up there, so you may not want that, but you may want it turned on. So if you want to turn it on, that's where you find it on YouTube. When you listen to this, it's this CC button down here. Okay, these two people are going to give you a whole lot of what we're going to practice next, uh, but they're going to put it into acted out situations. When you watch this video and they get into very long things, like, hello, I am Jorge's teacher, glad to meet you, blah, blah, blah. It gets very long. Kind of skim through that part. <laughs> you want the short parts out of this video, okay? So listen to the long parts and kind of absorb it, but it will feel like a bit much. It kind of is. Go for the short things that they talk about, okay? And by the way, after you listen to that for homework, if you've got questions when you come back next week, ask me. Or if you want to email me a question during the week after you listen to that, do that too. Either way is fine. What we are going to do is take a, a shorty version of this. Uh, ooh, I gotta find this Call the city say. Oh, when you want to ask me, how do you say, how do you say, how do you say coffee? Como se dice? Como se dice café en inglés? How do you say coffee and café in English? Como se dice? I want everybody to practice this. Como se dice? In Espanol. How do you say in Spanish? Okay, so anytime you want to ask me during class, I would prefer to use this phrase. And think of this in chunks of words. If you want, if you say five words is too much for me to get all right strung together, here's what I want you to do take it apart into two or three word chunks. Here's how I would break this down. Como se dice? Como se dice? Como se and, dice? And Como then dice. en español. En español. Español. Okay, so when you hear that question, you hear all my vowels coming out only one way. Como se dice en español? Como se dice en español? And in Spanish, en when you ask a question, español. Uh, you know, often we have our voice trail up at the end, like we do in English. Hey, how do you say? Como se dice? Como se dice? Como se dice en español? Ah, bien. Okay. So, como se dice? Saludos y despedidos. That just means greetings and ways to say goodbye. 
Okay, uh, your first impressions matter. And everybody uses greetings all the time. Even if you can't speak anything else in the language, we say these. And these are the throw it out phrase. You know, you walk in a store and you just say hi to the guy behind the desk, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you pass somebody on the street and you just say hi, but you're, you're not intending to get into a great big long conversation. So these are words that people throw out all the time, mostly to be polite, okay? Facil, facil. Okay, es fácil. Es fácil. Es fácil. Okay, so here are basic greetings. Hola. 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 When you see Hola. an H in English, Hola. or Hola. when you see an H in oh. Spanish, ignore it. The only way H will ever make a sound, if it is the combination C-H, then it is Ch. Otherwise, an H is never, never pronounced. Hola. It is the only truly silent letter in the language. So, H, H is not pronounced. Hola. 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 Okay. Hola. The way we say good morning. So, now this is all driven by the sun and the clock. <laughs> Those two things. Uh, good morning, or also to say good day, is a two word combination, just like good morning. Okay. So, buenos. Buenos, what you are dia. literally saying dia means day mm -hmm. and you are literally saying good days good. that's the way they yes. express that idea buenos dias, buenos buenos dias. dias. Yes. and notice yes. it's a yes. buenos Oh, buenos, 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 that is a better question than you know. There are some regions where people aspirate the end. Buenos dias, they kind of swallow it. Buenos some dias. dialects, you may have a hard time hearing the S, yeah. uh, <laughs> depending on where you go. Yes. Okay, buenos dias, buenos dias. Uh, buenos. You say this from morning when you wake up till noon, 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. okay, buenos dias. From oh, noon yes. on, from noon on, we use a different, now, from noon, oh, from noon until the sun is down, until the sun buenas, sets, buenas, we use this phrase, buenas, not buenos, but buenas, buenas tardes, buenas tardes, buenas tardes, buenas tardes, you're saying good yes. afternoons. Uh, yeah, from noon till sunset, till the sun is down. So really seven o'clock at night, very, very often, depending on where you are, if the sun is still up, people will say buenas tardes, even if it's seven. Buenas tardes. Yeah, 7 p.m. Yeah. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes. Okay. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Now, buenas tardes. just so you know, because people sometimes take shortcuts. If you say buenos dias, Somebody may respond to you with just buenos. Bueno. They may just do that. And that's kind of a shorthand. Okay. <laughs> buenos dias. Ah, buenos. Or muy buenos. They might shorten it up. They might. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. They didn't forget one of the words. <laughs> okay. They just did a shorthand. Okay. And... When the sun is down, if you want to say good evening or good night, it is this. It's not, again, it won't be buenos, it will be buenas. Buenas, 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 noches, 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 buenas noches. Okay, let's, let's try these four phrases from hola down one more time. Una vez más. Hola, 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 buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Again, if you greet somebody with buenas tardes, they may just say back to you buenas. 
Buenas. Or muy buenas, muy buenas. Very muy good. Buenas. <laughs> they may respond that way. Okay. So there are some basic greetings. Okay. And the video will show you way more. And your book will drill this again and again and again. Um, here are ways to say, how are you? Sadly, there are this many ways to say you in Spanish. Oh, shoot. However, in Spain, there are this many ways. In Latin America, they only use this many ways. Mm -hmm. Latin America ditches this last you. And they say, we don't need no stinking familiar plural you. So depends on where you're going. You either need this many use, or if you go to Spain, you need this many use. Okay. Here are different ways to say, how are you? There is a formal you, and there is a familiar, friendly, mm -hmm. chummy oh, yeah. you. Lots of languages have this, but English does not. English, you kind of used to, but lost it hundreds of years ago. Okay, so <laughs> if you are talking, so, and, and what's the clue? The formal you is called usted. Usted. You use usted with anybody that you don't know well enough to call them by their first name. That's pretty easy. If you don't know the person, if they're a total stranger, for sure, if you're in a business yes, setting, if you're in a store, for sure, you don't know the person at all. You certainly wouldn't call them by their first name. You use usted. That is called the formal or the, uh, you know, the, the polite you. So here's how are you. Como esta usted? Como esta usted? Como esta usted? Como esta usted? How are you? Como esta usted? Como esta usted? ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo está usted? If you are talking to somebody you call by their first name, or you're talking to a little kid, somebody 10, younger than 10, teenager even, you can use the familiar you. This is also used in family members, by the way. So the familiar you is not called usted, it is called tú. But you'll notice instead of esta, esta will get an S at the end. So here's how you say, how are you to a little kid or to somebody you call by their fir first name. Como estas? Como Como estas? Como Como estas? Como estas? Como estas? Now, that is the, the first way to say, how are you? But there are many variations on this and the video is going to show you the variations. So I will not go into, I will say them once, but uh, just like we say, how are you? How are you doing? How's it going? What's up? What's up? We have, <laughs> lots, of, we have lots of ways in English to say, how are you? How are ya? <clears throat> How are ya? Que paso. How are ya doing? Yeah, we got they got all different ways of saying it too. Okay. They'll say, how's it going? What's up? And and the video will show you which ways are formal and which ways are ah, less formal. Okay. Uh also, by the way, uh people in their 20-somethings or younger almost always use familiar or less formal things with each other. It's just what they do. So informal. Okay. Yeah, usually, yeah. 20 something okay. and, and younger, usually. Okay. Older people I tend to be a little more polite, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and if in doubt, use the polite because you can't yes. go wrong. You're showing that you're being polite, okay? And that's always a good thing. So how's it going can be, como le va, como te va, right? And you'll see the familiar or the formal and the familiar. Uh, it can be very informal. Que tal? Que tal? Que tal? Que tal? How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> that que tal is very informal. And que onda? Que onda? Que onda? Que onda is a way. Que onda que is onda. extremely, extremely informal. You would never walk into a store and say, ¿Qué onda? Unless, <laughs> unless you go into that store every day, yeah? And you always see those same people. 
Young May people I... talking to each other will always say, will often say, que onda? Si, si, si. Susana. Uh, why is the U capitalized in usted? Oh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Corona? I can't give you a real reason, it just is. <laughs> okay, and I didn't hear it, but when you said, como le, le you va. said va. Como le va? Como le va? Como le va? Va. Como le va? Like a be like boy. Okay. Okay. Me I didn't know. Yeah. That. Como le va? 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 So, uh, what it, you see at the top is more formal and then it gets increasingly less formal as it goes to the bottom of the oh. list. Oh, how clever that was. Okay. I got smart for <laughs> once. Here you go. Uh, and this little thing, which I will send to you later, just tells you the different things about you. Okay, uh, and we'll talk more about that next week. Um, and there are going to be plural yous. Okay, so usted is the formal you, tú is the familiar, friendly you, and then there is a plural you. And the only one you, that you guys need to know is usted es. We put an es on the end of usted, and it becomes ustedes. More and in English, we might say you guys, or we might just say you. And you know, somebody says you, you don't really know in English if it's one you or a bunch of yous. But ustedes is you guys. And ustedes, if I, when I talk to all of you, I would have to use ustedes. Como, como les va? How's it going for you guys? Como les va? Como les? With an S at the end. Como les va? Oh. <laughs> Como les va? Como les va? Como les va? Okay. Oh, so, that's good to know. Plural you is ustedes. The fourth, ustedes. that fourth you that we took away is only used in Spain. Tú is the familiar you, but there is a plural for tú. And the plural for tú is vosotros. Vosotros is used a lot in Spain, but only in Spain. So, oh. vosotros, you should know it exists, but nobody in Latin America uses vosotros ever. So, know that it exists. I have a question. Sí, I have sí. a question. Um, what about nosotros? I think in Puerto nosotros Rican language, we use we. nosotros. Yeah, nosotros means okay. we. It yeah. means I'm talking okay. about myself, but I have somebody with me. Okay, okay. I'm talking about myself and somebody else. Uh, me and okay. my husband, me and my kids, me and my pets. Voila. It's we. Oh, that's good. It's we. Okay. Nosotros. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Bien, de nada. Okay. Vale, vale, vale. Uh, bien, 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 bien. Okay, we're going to uh, finish up with a few. I'm going a little bit over, perdón. Uh, and then I'm going to give you homework. So, uh, We've got some polite phrases. So here's some polite phrases that are important to know. These are, wow, these are super important when you talk to people in stores, even on the street, getting on buses, you know, wherever, right? This word, please, will get you a lot mm -hmm. of goodwill. Mm -hmm. In Americans are not, are, have, it is a stereotype, which is sadly sometimes true. Americans have a reputation around the world for not being extremely polite people. Mm -hmm. That may or may not be true, but that is a stereotype about Americans, how they look mm -hmm. at us. They will not tell us to our face, but they think it about us behind our backs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always use the word por favor. Por favor. Mm -hmm. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Or or favor, or favor. Favor. We'll earn you so many brownie points, you will not believe. Yes, yes. If you make the worst mistake in the world, por favor, we'll get you, por favor, with this. We'll get yes. you a lot. It will get you a lot of, of brownie points. Okay? Mm -hmm. Por favor. The word for thanks is always important. Gracias. 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 You're welcome. Gracias. De nada. De, de nada. nada. De nada. De nada. De nada. Here is the next. Oh, this mm -hmm. word is so important. This is as important as por favor. The first word that you need to use when you want help from somebody, 
you walk up to somebody, cool. you don't know them from Adam. You don't know them at all, it's, but you need help in a store. You need help. You're lost and you approach someone before you say anything else. Disculpe. This, excuse me, word should come out of your mouth. Disculpe. 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 And you probably Disculpe. want the formal one. Disculpa is the Dis informal, but disculpe. 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 If you disculpe. say, it, it is like going in French saying, excusez-moi, excusez-moi. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Well, you walk up to somebody that you don't know at all and you need a favor, that word better be disculpe. the first thing out of your mouth. Disculpe. <laughs> Disculpe. 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 Uh, again gets you brownie points big I time have a question I, I grew up saying con permiso oh con permiso is also fine con permiso is also okay. great yeah. which one's more formal disculpe disculpe is probably a little more formal Okay. There are many ways to say excuse me yeah con permiso, Pero con permiso Literally, is not per informal is it no, is it informal? informal. Con no. permiso? Okay. No. okay. It's, it's also extremely polite. Okay. Yes. Con permiso. Okay. Con permiso, I do not have on the list only because I needed to limit my list. <laughs> oh, for first okay. Time. okay. But con permiso is perfectly great to use to say, excuse me. Okay. Disculpe, disculpa, perdón. If you have a brain fart and you totally like can't remember, <laughs> we know the word pardon in English. So perdón. Yes. Perdón. can come to your Perdón. mind if everything else deserts you, right? We all have those moments. <laughs> or senior moments, right? Perdón. But yeah, con, per per con Perdón. permiso Perdón. is also fabuloso, fabuloso. Okay, fabuloso. Um, I'm just going to do some uh, goodbyes and then I'll tell you what I would like you to do for homework. Okay, so our goodbye words and some of these you know because we hear these living in the Southwest, we hear these a lot. Yeah. And these are adios. 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 Bye. Uh, which to some people sounds kind of final. Yeah. So other ways of saying goodbye as you leave someone is nos vemos. Nos, nos vemos. If you're going to see somebody later, if you're likely to see that person later, nos vemos. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Uh, another thing is hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. And remember, ignore the H. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Literally, it means until later. And then hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Until tomorrow. Hasta see, mañana. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, now. There are others, you know, I'm not gonna list every single way you say goodbye to somebody, but those are some ways, okay? If you're likely to see that person again, somewhere on the street, you probably want, you know, nos vemos, or exactly. Also, this is sort of an oddity. When you, if you're spending a lot of time with somebody and you say goodbye, in Hispanic culture, it is common not to just say adios and walk away. Some people think, God, what? Did I smell bad? Is something <laughs> wrong with me? No. It is kind of common in Hispanic culture for people to repeat different ways of saying goodbye, like a lot before they leave you. You know, if you spend an hour with somebody, you, you had lunch with somebody, uh, adios, nos vemos, hasta luego, uh, to repeat different things because they don't want to just say adios and then leave. <laughs> Oh, they'll think I'm rude. So don't be surprised if was, you know, you spend some time with somebody and they use like more than one way saying, what are they saying goodbye over and over for? Because they don't want to be like rude. So it's just a cultural thing, you know? It's a cultural thing. Okay. Here is the link for this, but you're going to get that link in the email. So do, do, do go and watch. Uh, this video because some of these are going to go pretty fast, but go for the short phrases and they're going to show you formal versus informal. They'll tell you all of that. And chapter one in your book will tell you all of that. Chapter one. Oh, okay. okay. And mm -hmm. uh, this is going to go through the same information in chapter one. Um, okay? So, uh, you know, listen to your little audio with that. So you're going to listen to that video. You're going to listen to the all the sounds in Spanish with this video. Uh, I will give you the link to the sounds we practiced today. And I'll give you a link and I will give you the option of whether you want to or not. 
if you want to uh, record yourself with those vowel sounds, only the vowel sounds that you're going to get in a link from me, go record yourself if you feel like doing that. And I will go and listen to it during the week. Okay. Okay. If you, if you record, you. yeah, if you record Gracias. at 9 p.m. on Monday, I'm 9 p.m. on Monday night, I am likely not to see it in time before class. Just saying. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Vale. Muy bien. Muy bien. Sí. Okay. Gracias. So, uh, me llamo. We're going to go into more of like introducing people, how to say my name is, his name is. Next week, we're going to say that. So uh, we're going to get into a lot of the uh, uh, asking somebody what their name is and responding and saying, I am, right, or my name is. We're going to do a lot of that uh, next week. We're also going to practice next week the idea of what it means to make something plural, more than one. We're also going to next week get into the idea of why do we have gender in, well, I can't give you a why. I just have to tell you, one of the little tiny hurdles you're going to have in Spanish is that there is gender, meaning mm -hmm. everything is, either, everything. all <laughs> nouns are masculine or feminine. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. not so hard. Pe woman, man, girl, boy, wait, coffee. It's masculine. Things in Spanish will also be masculine or feminine. Oh, that's masculine, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. feminine. <laughs> Un café. Feminine. Un blouse. Camisa. Uh, camisa, sí. Camisa. Audífonos. Masculine. You know, it's so that's kind of a hurdle we'll get over. But that's probably mm -hmm. enough for one day. Sí, bien? Yes. Sí, sí gracias. Magnífico. De nada, de nada. You are welcome. Es un placer. Es un placer. It is a pleasure. Es un placer. Fue un placer. It was a pleasure. Uh, gracias. Uh, you'll get my email. If you need to email me questions during the week, feel free to do that. That is just fine. Uh, I will usually answer within about 24 hours. Uh, y mm, bueno, entonces nos vemos, nos vemos el martes. Ay, nos sí, vemos. Martes. Nos vemos, ¿no? Nos, nos vemos, vemos, ¿sí? ¿Verdad? Sí. Nos ¿Sí? vemos, gracias. ¿Sí? gracias. De nada, gracias. de nada, nos vemos. Ok, we'll end that for today. Hasta luego. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego. Oh sí. Thank you. Bien. <laughs>